From the peristernal long axis view, we now go to the peristernal short axis view. This is achieved by rotating the transducer. You see immediately that it's the short axis. We take a look at this again on the transducer. So you have the marker to the right shoulder and the peristernal long axis view. You rotate while seeing the aortic valve to the left shoulder of the patient. And then you achieve a peristernal short axis view at the level of the aortic valve. That's Nicely visualized in the center, you can add color Doppler to see if there's a regurgitation present, um, especially denote the color M modes. You could also see a regurgitation if it would be relevant in this view. Just be sure that the color M mode is located across the aortic valve. If you don't see relevant uh, regurgitation, you also should take a look at the morphology and the right ventricular outflow tract in the later stages so you can measure above and below the pulmonic valve and also the pulmonic trunk. If you did that, you also should focus on the pulmonary arteries. Below in the image, you see the right pulmonary artery quite nicely. Here's the right pulmonary artery. This is the left pulmonary artery. But of the left, you only get the glimpse. Here you see the RVOT and here the tricuspid valve, the intatrial septum and also add the color Doppler to the tricuspid valve to see if there is regurgitation present. You see that there is flow inwards, the right atrium, that's the inferior vena cava. And you can also denote that flow is going towards the interatrial septum, but there is no turbulent flow. Now again, we take a look at the aortic valve and see that there are three cusps, the right coronary cusp, the left coronary cusp and the A coronary cusp. And this looks like a Mercedes star. Going downwards or tilting downwards, you see that the, the image changes and what you see is the personal short axis view on the level of the mitral valve. You can also add color Doppler and you will see that there is no real regurgitation present across the mitral valve. Also save this image. And when you continue to evaluate the entire mitral valve, which is very important, you see that there is no real regurgitation. If you tilt the transducer more downwards, you see that there is the radial function of the left ventricle. So you basically can evaluate the basal segments until the apical segments of the left ventricle in this one view and evaluate radial function. You also see the two papillary muscles. And here we are already almost at the apex.